Hey, free to play gang! Welcome back to another video. This video is all about dumb fucking designs that this light has deemed worthy of the game itself. It's completely bonkers. It, it don't make any sense. So for today's video, I'm going to show you a few things that are a little bit weird. And frankly, they have to fix this shit, but I'm guessing that they are probably not going to do it. Now, the first thing is very, very mild. We are talking about Shadow Glow here. Sh no, not Shade Mother, Shadow Glow. Uh, take a look at what happens in this phase. Whenever we attack the boss, I just so happen to come into this phase as well. The boss gains AP up. What? Where does it say in his kit that he gains AP up, right? Over here, Fatid Cloud. There is nothing over here you can pause the video to check that says that he gains AP up. It only says after the enemies take 6 turns. Oh my god, I got 8.7 million. This is so embarrassing. After the enemies take 6, six total turns, the boss takes a turn. So they worded it wrongly. It's supposed to be the boss stops gaining natural AP and he gains AP whenever your allies take a turn. Yeah, he gains like 1 out of 6 of his total AP bar. That is what it's supposed to mean. Okay, okay, okay. I know this is not such a big deal because this is just more or less the same output. But I just want to point out that simple mistakes like this... It's just not dealt with all the time. So I have been bug reporting for like the longest period of time. Every single week, I'm at least reporting one single bug to the devs. Be it this, be it that, everything, everything that I've encountered, I will report it to the devs, which is, this is not my job, right? This is not my job to do their bug reporting, their game testing. If anything, they shouldn't be paying me Nexus Crystals for doing this shit, right? They should be giving me real money for testing out your game and finding out the bugs for you. I think this is going to be a solid run, by the way. So this is just the first issue. It is but a very, very small issue. Let me show you something else that is a little bit more amazing, right? Now, here's the second issue. And I'm not even going to talk about the fact that they designed the whole boss with such little thought and such little emphasis that a comp running with a tether is far superior than a poison comp. Now, the thing is, I do have a poison comp that works 100% of the time, but it doesn't make sense that the boss has so much poison resistance to the point where running a tether is simply much better. Take a look at the damage that tether is doing here, right? Uh, as long as GGZ can move his mouse away. <laughs> Whenever he takes a turn, he's dealing somewhere between 70 plus K and 90 K depending on the skills that he's using. Okay, so he did 92 K because he used his third skill without a crit, all right? And take note that the boss has all three debuffs around him. He has a blue, green, and red debuff. Now, let's take a look at what happens when Tether crits. Okay, so pay attention, Tether is going to crit over here and he did 14,000 damage. Why does this piss me off so much? Okay, so number one, I have to say that even though I hate the Tether tech, because it just completely bypasses the whole theme of the boss, which is supposed to be more poison related. But I must say, the game design is so bad that they fail to understand one very important thing. That very important thing is this, when attacking the target with the highest max HP, deals true damage. True damage is 600% of his attack, which is why all these teams are running tethers with low crit rate or like zero crit rate and like as much attack as much as possible. So the whole point of this build is so that when you deal damage to the boss, even if you crit or you do not crit, there is still a true damage portion which should not be reduced by the boss's ability to reduce incoming critical hit damage. Because this part of his damage, which is compiled, okay, so his one single hit, his damage output, one single damage output like that, is actually split into two portions. One, one is a crit damage and one is the true damage portion. These are not my eyes. So think about this, if it is fair for the game to reduce your total damage because the whole thing is critically in, like its animation is in a crit, and therefore from 90k it goes down to 14k, then why is it that the converse is not true where Tavis true damage cannot critically hit? So essentially, if you can do like 60k in true damage, you should be able to deal like, I don't know, 180k in, a, in an actual crit. But that is not the case. He is not dealing that kind of damage unless he's with Shen Pin, okay? So aside from that, it just doesn't make any sense at all. So you cannot have a rubbish game design where number one, you cannot deal critical damage with your true damage, but yet at the same time, your true damage is considered critical damage when you land a critical hit. That do not make any sense whatsoever. And the worst part is this. Now, don't shoot a messenger over here, but this is what the dislike service has gotten back to me regarding this situation. So sorry to bother you again about Tevers crits, the boss dealing 14,000 damage. You consulted in the bug reports channel. All crit damage received by the current boss will be reduced and damage mitigation effects generally refer to damage taken minus X percentage description because I was also talking about the fact that uh, Tether over here, Tether's attacks ignore damage mitigation effects. So the thing is, there is two layers here, right? Number one, if you're going to be reducing my crit damage, then why is it that my true damage is considered crit damage? And number two, Tether already ignores damage mitigation effects. So how is it that his critical hit damage is actually being reduced by the boss's passive? That don't make any sense at all. Th this is like two layers of dumb fuckery embedded into one. This is like distilled idiocy. 
And now it reads, hope this helps you. If you still have any doubts, you can contact us again. And I said, I gotta clarify again. The damage from Tether is split into a true damage portion and a crit damage portion. Why is it that the true damage is, is reduced as well? This completely don't make sense and they have not gotten back to me on this uh, for like the past couple of hours. I'm not sure, maybe they're scrambling or whatsoever. But this is extremely bad design. Now there is another appalling bug right now. Go stupid! Ah! Go crazy! So this is something shared by Perez who is also only Amblas. Hello, Chantico Adrena doesn't assist when an ally procs Avatara. Is it a bug? So let's take a look at what he means, right? So let's take a look at Chantico first, or rather Adrena. So what he's referring to is this. She performs an assist attack with her basic ability after her teammate cast a, a basic ability, right? So whenever you use your normal attack, she's going to assist with a normal attack. It's as simple as that. So in the same vein, we have seen a lot of situations where, like let's say Alice, when she counter attacks, she has a she has a chance of calling in an ally to assist at the same time. And that is the same for Shuen Pin as well, which is why the Avatara set is so popular with these two experts. Because whenever they counter attack, one of the allies is going to assist at the same time. Now, after some consideration, right, some major, major big brain moment, the developers have actually come together and decided that, hey, you know what? Hi, regarding the question you mentioned, the current setting of the game is that counter attack will no longer trigger effects such as counter attack and pursuit. So wait a minute, you're saying that it will no longer trigger effects such as counter attack and pursuit. This is not a counter attack. This is not a pursuit. This is an assist attack. It's completely different. So you can use Shrimpin, you can use Alice, you can prove it to yourself with the Avatar set, you can call in an ally to assist any goddamn day. And at the same time, if you're telling me that pursuits cannot be in effect whenever you counter attack, let me show you Tang Shen. All right, check this out. We are at the VR Battlegrounds. Let's try to capture a moment where we Avatar proc. And we pursue it! <laughs> good job game, good job game, you broke yourself. Nothing you say makes any sense whatsoever. We literally proved that you can counter attack into pursuits. And you know what, okay, you know what, let me just use an Alice or a Champagne just to prove to you guys that when we Avatar proc, one of our allies will actually assist, right? So let's bring in the Tang Shen again, and let's bring in a Champagne. This is such a simple test. It's such a simple test. It's such a foolproof way for you to tell that that, you know, there is something wrong with your game. Something doesn't make any sense. Look at that. Pursuits on... And, okay, that, fine. That was a... It was a counter-attack into a pursuit, okay? Sure. Come on, hit my champion. Come on, man. Hit my champion. Okay. Avatar proc. Into an assist. Pursuits! There we go. I've tested this for like three whole minutes. Just three minutes! Okay, I just... Oh my god. It's so easy to prove that this mechanic works as intended. And yet, Adrena's mechanic is just completely bugged right now. And they can't see it. They can't see it. And they're just saying that, oh, this is working as intended. And they just keep on saying that. Because to them, oh, this is like what balance is supposed... No, this is what messes up the game and makes it extremely difficult for players to understand. Because there's so many little bit of all these redundancies. Like, for example, let's talk about Ritual Miracle bosses and their poison resistance, for example. Why is it that there is nowhere stated that the bosses have extremely high poison resistance, right? Chronos has extremely high poison resistance, APAP as well, and now even Andras has insane poison resistance. Why is it not stated somewhere that such a stupid mechanic even exists in the first place? Be clear with your players about what they should expect about all of each of these tiny little details in the game and stop causing confusion amongst all of your players. Just work on your code, make sure that it's clean, make sure that it makes sense. Everything that is supposed to work should work. And by extension, the tab attack is supposed to work as well. And it's very unfortunate that that is the case. So players like me who got scammed of our wish stones by summoning for Hilda and not getting Tether instead. I mean, not as if we could do it, but I'm just saying, hey. Freak, that's such a scummy move. Oh my goodness, please wake the hell up and just fix your game. That's all we ask for.